The European Union-funded Global Climate Change Alliance Pacific Small Island States project is being implemented by the Government of the Republic of Marshall Islands with assistance from the Secretariat of the Pacific Community, SPC. The project is strengthening the government's capacity, particularly the Ministry of Public Works, to plan, design and construct hard and soft coastal engineering protection measures that will help the country's many atolls cope with rising sea level and increased coastal erosion. Better coastal planning and management will enhance community resilience to climate variability and change. The Marshall Islands consist of 29 atolls, comprising around 1,225 low-lying islands. Most of these are less than 3 meters above sea level. This makes the islands highly susceptible to increased erosion and inundation, risks that are anticipated to increase as a result of climate change and climate variability. Some communities are already facing land loss, such that roads and homes are frequently damaged by floodwaters and are becoming unusable. Economic losses include damage to crops and infrastructure. Cultural losses include damage to cemeteries and historical sites. In October 2010, the government endorsed the RMI Climate Change Roadmap. The Ministry of Public Works identified nine priority projects involving infrastructure improvements to roads, causeways and airstrips on six atolls, costing 81 million US dollars. The government of RMI selected the Wadja Road and Causeway project as a focus for the Global Climate Change Alliance Pacific Small Island States project. Wadja is one island in Ailing Lap Lap Atoll, which has a total population of 1,700 people. A vulnerability survey, extensive community consultations and a coastal engineering feasibility and design study were conducted between 2013 and 2014. The study showed the causeway between the two parts of the island is undergoing active and serious erosion. If this continues into the future, then the island will likely be divided into two parts. The Wadja community expressed their concern about what is happening to their island and how it is impacting their daily lives. During the last seven years, it's been hard at times to get to school. I can't cross the causeway because of the high tide, so I have to wait for the tide to go down. When work on the causeway is completed, it will be better for us because I won't miss any classes or school days. Yes, we have met several challenges. Sometimes when we need to take sick people to the health center, we can't because of the high tide. Other times, when escorting younger children to school, we have to wait. And even people coming back from the other side of the island, they can't come home because of the tide. In the past, the sea level was low. It was there. Nowadays, when it's high tide, the sea level is where the road is. The Ministry of Public Works is conducting work at the causeway. Uh, there was a survey team that came to do an uh, inspection of the, of the site, and this was composed of uh, uh, people from OEPPC, SPC, and the Ministry of Public Works to identify the, uh, the uh, priority. And uh, uh, right after the survey, there was a priority identified, and this is what we call priority one. And this project is actually 70 meters long and around three meters high from the uh, world level. So basically this project is to, to link again the two uh, islands that are currently inundated. The, uh, the good thing with also with this project is that we will not be blasting anything, so we will not be importing any materials to build this causeway. All the causeway materials, such as the armored rocks, the backfill materials, will be locally sourced. The community and the school students are also getting involved in the project with the help of the Environmental Protection Agency, 
Ministry of Education and the College of Marshall Islands Land Grant Division. The community and the um, students have been collecting seedlings to, um, for replanting on the coastal areas and um, the purpose is due to you no know, rising seas, climate change that are, um, have been eroding the coastal areas and um, as part of the project, the causeway project, activities that will be conducted by EPA are you know, doing replanting of the coastal areas. Another related activity has been to support a national dialogue about climate change among the public in the Marshall Islands. A climate change glossary is also under preparation. This will explain, in the Marshallese language, some of the terms used in climate change. Basically, the idea of the, uh, the glossary came about because uh, during our consultations with the community, we wanted to ensure that everyone was on the same page and understood the terminologies used in climate change. Uh, we do hope that uh, through collaboration with our Ministry of Education, this will eventually be integrated into, our, into the school curriculum. The project has faced several challenges during its implementation. This involved several trips to the Outer Islands over several months to solicit landowners' approval and support. Acquiring consent and support has its challenges uh, with the complex land system in the RMI. This involves three tiers of chiefs and you need to acquire approval from each of, each of the three. The sparse and scattered nature of islands and atolls in the Marshall Islands makes communication and transportation to the outer islands very difficult. For instance, in 2012, a severe drought in the northern atolls meant that all available boats and ships were deployed to assist in the drought emergency and as a consequence, the start of the project activities was delayed. There are only two ships available to the Ministry of Public Works to transport construction equipment and material to Waja. In addition, there is no proper jetty in Waja. Uh, uh, uh.